This is Patriot Channel again. Uh, today we're going to show skin a rabbit. Um, again, never claim to be an expert. I just claim to be able to do some things the way I've learned to do it. And I like sharing with uh, the YouTube folks in case you decide you want to learn to do it. Uh, we raise our own rabbits. Uh, we know what they're fed. Uh, they're very, very tasty. And they have their purpose. I've got a whole factory back here in the back. Uh, right now we've got about 23 babies uh, that just are fixed to be about four weeks old. And so we needed to get these on out of the cages and put them in the freezer. And we're actually going to cook one today. So I'm going to go in and start cleaning these rabbits. It's already been dispatched. Uh, we do just pop them in the head with the 22. They don't feel a thing. Um, start up here cutting the leg. And you want to be careful because you don't want to cut into the meat. Because when you go to pull this down, it'll uh, pull the meat right off if you're not careful. So take the time. Cut both. And everybody has their way to do this. If this ain't your way and you don't like it, by all means, find your own way. <laughs> I just like showing what we do. I think there's lots of different ways to do things. So none of y'all YouTubers get on there and start criticizing because it just ain't no point in it. All right, then you take it and you slip it right towards the center, towards the pelvic area. Probably would help if I got the rabbit wet, but I ain't doing that, so whatever. I know it does help, I just didn't do it. But it does help, it cools the meat off, yada yada yada. Y'all rabbit folks will know what I'm talking about. Or you cut across it. You don't want to cut into the to the pea sack, or you will have a mess. All right. Once you're all the way through, then you start undressing. And it just starts pulling down, and they just undress real nice. Get it down to the birthday suit, if you will. I see right here until I got into the meat so I need to get it off of there because it started pulling the meat with it and we don't want that once you get past that it'll be fine it seems to be still slightly connected right there let's pull it on down I just got peed on Take the tail, again being careful not to cut into the sack, just get to the tail itself. And cut it right off. And then pull all the way down. My gut sack for some reason is cut open. A little earlier than I like it. I'm just going to go with it. That typically doesn't happen, but since it did, I'm going to go ahead and, and get all this out. Some people save the hearts and the liver, liver and all that. I don't save it, but that's up, completely up to you. Not my thing, so whatever makes folks happy. Go ahead and get the heart out. Sometimes I feed it to my dog. Sometimes they like fresh rabbit. Okay, so I've got the pea sack right here that I really don't want to bust. I'm going to try and pull that out without busting it. Bad things can happen. Came out without busting it. Right here, finger through there. And pull this right off. 
other side, same thing. I've seen this done several different ways, so whatever way works for you. Pull it off the The heart and stuff's already out, so I don't have to worry about that. Good and clean, cut the head off. Put it in there. Lock the front off here. Lock the second one off. Put it up here. And hope it holds. Typically, I have somebody standing here holding it. So I'm not going to cut all the way through because I want it to hold it. Cut the front feet off. <coughs> Reach up, cut the back one off. Back one off, ready to go. I'm going to reach them off. Turn them up good. Now you got your process. Right. Alright, well, if you can, take these. And you want to try and break them. They don't always cooperate. Alright. And you just, it doesn't matter what order you do this in. You can do the front shoulders, the back legs first, but you got to do the back strap. You really want to do that last, so get in here and start working it down. That bone had broke when I cut it. This would be a lot easier, but we'll just do that. And there's your hind quarter right here. Throw it over there. with them but there's enough meat on here and it, it tastes good kids love it so front shoulder I like calling it chicken wing different knives for different jobs I'll do that later so I'm, I'll clean all this up later I'm, I'm not going to do it right now to save time on the video um, so we got this left right here and there's a layer of skin here I like getting off as well um, off the back strap if you will not everybody does I I like doing it because it makes the meat more tender when you cook it this stuff makes it a little bit chewy if you leave it on so Definitely recommend taking that off. Now taking this back strap off is a little tedious. But if you're watching this, it's because you want to learn, and so I'm gonna show you. If you're not interested, you know, there's a stop button and a delete button. So, if you ain't got you a good knife. You're gonna have problems with this. If your knife's dull, it ain't gonna get this skin off. So make sure you got your good knife. This rabbit looks like it might have been a little older than it needed to be, but and you can tell by the amount of fat on them. Get all the way up to the where the shoulder meets it right here because this whole piece if you do it right and it takes a little bit of time a lot of people stop right here and they just take that section and I've done that a few times but really if you can get all the way up here and I'll show you when I pull it out
This is too thin. So there's your one good back strip right there. Some people do it whole. I've, 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 I like it just off the bone. I like frying them up. Most tenderest thing you'll eat. And if you're going to cook it on the grill, you might leave it on the bone because it helps a little bit. But getting this cut start can be a bit challenging. Because the bone's shape is really weird on these, but you, you get used to it. Just practice. It looks like I'm going to have to get that off of there. See right here on the ribs, if you just keep running right down these ribs, all the way down the ribs, you get that whole piece of meat. I hadn't seen anybody do it this way. I just saw that that meat was there all the way up. And there's that back strap. So you can tell I got a little bit more of this one than I did that one. So that's it. Uh, the rest of this don't really you could keep these tenderloins in here as well they're on the inside and really good eating as well there's your tenderloins um, pretty good that's what's left What you end up with? Happy. Got your nice thigh. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Got you some back straps and the tenderloin. We just stick them in here and wash them off. Drop them in the water bucket. And that's going to be dinner tonight. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll try and answer any questions if you have them. That's how I clean them. It doesn't take very long. So thank you for watching Texas Patriot out. God bless Texas.